Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Anna Mae and I make videos every week. I would love if you subscribe to my channel and if you enjoy this video, do give it a thumbs up. So today's video is going to be a little mini haul of things that I've picked up for going back to college. I'm a third year and it's gonna be my final year fingers crossed, in um, college this year. So I have only a couple little things picked up, but I was really, really excited about some of them. So I thought I would share them with you. Because it is such a small haul, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do a little try-on portion. So, so give this video a thumbs up for the extra effort that a try-on all requires. Um, so I have stuff from Jack Wills, just one thing, uh, Kath Kitson and Shein that I'm going to share with you today. And it's not all clothing, it's kind of random, but I thought it would still be fun to show. So I thought I'd start off with Shein. If you don't know about Shein, it's a wholesale website, kind of, it's just a discount website uh, based in China. And the sizing can be a bit crazy, so I haven't tried on this stuff yet, but I will definitely try it on for the, that's why I thought I would make this a try on haul. Um, and I will just kind of tell you what I think they look like and you can see how they fit and you know, we'll work from there. So, the first thing is not actually clothing. It is an acrylic makeup storage thing. Um, I'll just take it out of the plastic so we can get a better look. So, this is the acrylic makeup storage that I got from Shein, and surprisingly, it did not break. Um, there seems to be a little scratch on the inside, but honestly, this was super inexpensive. If you can get a good look, it's got a drawer. This has a back to it, so you can rest up up here. Uh, lipsticks, lip glosses, whatever, and a little thing here, and some bigger kind of pouches down the back, for lack of a better word. But I really wanted something like this, and they could be so expensive. So when I saw it on Shein, and there were some stuff that some things that I wanted to order as well, I thought I might as well get it from there. And yeah, I think it's really cute. I'm glad I got it. I just got this this morning, um, and it's not broken, so very exciting. I think it was about eight euro, so I think it was pretty good. So the next thing I got from Shein is this super cute, like tank top style but it has like a little uh, kind of scallop slash ruffle down the bottom and this was again super inexpensive it has a little keyhole at the back and this is a size medium and looking at it I'm really glad I got the medium because I'm not a big busted person but bigger in some ways uh, so that I would typically be like an extra small small but I would have to size up especially for non-stretchy fabrics and Shein is notorious for that. I have so many tops that I've gotten in a medium and are too tight across the chest. So definitely be wary of that from ordering there, but hopefully I will try this on and show you how it fits and I think it would be so cute. I was actually considering wearing it today because I'm wearing white jeans, but I decided to stick with this black top instead. But very excited and I think it'll be really cute um, with a cardigan and just transitioning from summer into autumn. So the last thing I got from Shein this time around is this t-shirt that says girl power and the pocket, or uh, not the pocket, where a pocket would be. And I thought this was really cute. I just wanted something like this um, that I could wear casually with jeans, even though I never wear jeans and t-shirts, but with leggings and um, to dance and stuff like this. And you can see by the size of it, it's not huge, but this is a medium. So you can see how this fits. And for reference, I am about I'm just under five foot three. So kind of an average build, average to a chunkier build. So you can see how this fits on me. And yeah, you know, the fabric quality isn't terrible. It does have some stretch in it because I was worried that it would be like super synthetic, but it's not. And yeah, I thought this was really cute. And it wasn't like a design that they had necessarily really stolen from anybody. So that's what I was kind of wary of. They do have some imitation t-shirts that are, um, from companies that are benefiting social causes and stuff like that and I was not going to support them imitating those so I decided to get this one instead because I didn't really know or because I don't really think it's directly taken from someone else. So the next two things I'm going to show are from Kath Kitson and um, in Ireland there's a place called Kildare Village if you're Irish you're probably familiar and it's an outlet mall but some of the stuff is not actually outlet. So the cap kits and that's there is kind of a mix, but it is mostly like outlet stuff. It's excess stock. And um, so they don't have everything, but they do have quite a few nice pieces. And these are, this is not clothing, but the first thing I got is this mug and it's a nice big mug. And if you watched my college haul, 
which I will have linked in the cards. I think it's over here, or else it's over here. Um, I that was the last video I posted on my channel. I have had a lot of issues with mugs in college, so um, I've been just buying some random mugs that I can have and I was obsessed with this print when it came out for Cath Kitson but I never actually bought anything in it um, and then I saw this mug for sale like on sale in the outlet and I decided I had to get it um, it was just fate but they didn't have anything else in this print except for something strange like a pair of pajama bottoms or something no it wasn't even that it was something that I really did not want so I thought this mug was very usable and very cute and then the other thing I got in Cat Kitson was something I've been waiting to get for so long and it is a new wallet because I've been using, I have it over here, the tackiest wallet. You, yeah, it's, it's a lot of glare. It's gold. All the gold is worn off there and it's just like, yeah, it's really tacky. I bought it because it was the cheapest one on ASOS at the time. So I have been scouting out new wallets and I was looking at Kate Spade but they were so expensive and I really do like the oil cloth that the um, Cat Kitson wallets use. So this was like my second print of choice, but again, it was an outlet. So they only have some prints available and I really, really like it. It's a solid wallet. I think it was 21 euro. It has a really solid zip and it has like a coin pocket in the middle. So I think it's great. I'm very excited. I think it's super girly and just classy. Really like it. And yeah, so that's what I got from Cat Kitson. So the final thing in this haul, yes, I'm aware it is a very small haul is something from Jack Wills and this is something I've wanted for so long and I was beside myself when I saw it in the shop and again it is the outlet shop and it is the Sotheby shirt I believe it's called no Southbrook Oxford okay so it is an Oxford but it has a rounded collar and in some ways I'm kind of like, oh my god, because I had to wear a rounded collar shirt for school for three years, like when I was like 12 to 15. And so some flashbacks, but I just think this would be so cute layered under a jumper in the winter. I just think it's nicer than a regular Oxford. Um, you know, it's a bit more feminine and I really do like Jack Wills, but a warning, sorry there's a hair on that, a warning to anyone who's shopping in Jack Wills, their stuff is sized very, very small and you know, I don't really hate on companies for sizing huge or sizing tiny because that's just how they size. You do not like rate yourself by a size. There are shops where I'm an extra, extra small, like no joke. But then there's other shops where I am a size 12 or size 14. I literally own a size 14 skirt from Jules, but I have had a size eight um, Mariner shirt. like. It doesn't make any sense. Don't be freaked out if you end up being like a 12 or 14 in Jack Wills. So this is actually only a 10, which I'm pretty surprised about. Um, I have tried on things as large as a 14 there before and they do not fit me around the hips. So stuff like that is very small, but this was only 36.50 and I had seen these, it says 54.95 and I'm pretty sure that is the, um, what do you call it? Pretty sure that's the outlet price anyways. I had seen these for way more expensive um, when I was in London. And I just think it is so cute. They also come in pink and blue. And I decided white was most, most versatile for the first one. But you do not know how excited I am about this shirt. So actually I just had an idea that I might make a video styling this shirt. Because I just think it is so, so cute. And yeah, so excited to wear this. It's kind of shorter length which is better for me because I am shorter, but it doesn't have the same nice fit quite as a um, as an Oxford from Ralph Lauren because I also love those with the regular collar, but you can see that in the try-on. But hopefully I will do a lookbook styling this shirt and I'm very excited for that now that I just thought of that. So excited that this is only 36 euro because I love Oxfords, but I don't like paying that much for them. So. Yeah, round a collar. Oh, just so excited. So that is it for my mini try on haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I have lots of new content coming this whole year. I have some exciting things that I'm planning in the next couple months. Things are just starting to pile up for me. Um, as I said, I'm going into my final year of college, so there's gonna be a lot of interesting things that that entails. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.